Hello, YouTube. It's me, your boy, B3, back with another kicking movie reaction review. Not sure why people call this a movie, but we're going to get into that in a sec. So, I recently reviewed what I like to call the Variety Hero Trilogy, or the Variety Hero Trio. Red Man, Go God Man, and Go Green Man. I've reviewed all of them. So now we're going to look at some supplementary material to that. This Go God Man special. I've heard some people call it Go God Man the movie, Go God Man 2008, Go Go God Man and Green Man. But for today, we're going to call it Go Forth God Man because I feel like that is the title that a lot of people stick with. I hear lots of people just say Go God Man movie, but that's because they don't know what it's called. And I, I even called it that in my recent vlog about whether God Man and Green Man should get their own films, solo films in the upcoming Godzilla Cinematic Universe. I said, no, not really. I thought Zone Fighter would be more marketable, uh, so, or Jet Jaguar. Zone Fighter or Jet Jaguar, one or both of them, I think, should get a movie. I think Green Man could carry a movie. Not entirely sure God Man could really carry a movie, but I feel like they're both so cult, you know, that it's almost like their villains are more memorable than they are. Like people hear that they fight famous Toho monsters and that's how people find them and that's why people go to see them. They go to see them because the monsters they're fighting and not really the heroes themselves. So I feel like there wouldn't be enough interest to sell a big blockbuster movie for these. And that was my opinions in that vlog if you missed it. But we do have this straight to DVD special. It's a short film, a little over 22 minutes, about as long as your average American television show episode. Just a little over 22 minutes. And I thought it would be hard to find. Not only did I think it would be hard to find this film, I thought it would be hard to find a dub of it. But it was actually super easy to find. I googled it and it was like the first option. Insane. I can't believe I found it so easily. Because out of the three shows, Red Man, God Man, and Green Man, God Man is the hardest one to find episodes of. It's insane. But his special, super easy to find. I found it dubbed. And it's not, not dubbed, sorry. Subbed. And it was subbed by the same person that subbed green man that i watched so that was really cool i think they did a good job on this they did a good job on green man they kind of quit though so it's hard to find all of their subs but because they took down their web pages Ugh. so let's get into go forth god man the 2008 straight to dvd special so it does have a plot unlike really the god man show so there's this woman taking photos and her name is apparently Mika Ayase, but we never actually hear her name in the special. I don't think I heard anybody's name except for Godman in the special. They didn't say monsters' names. They didn't say the main characters' names. They just said Godman, and that was it. And then there's a big monster called Su Suno Jiras. Suno Jiras, T S U N O J I R A S. It's a monster that is from Go God Man originally. It was made for Go God Man. Uh, and some people have mistaken it as Gomera. I've seen people do that before. It's not Gomera. It's a completely different monster. It was the 29th monster to ever fight God Man. Huh. And that's, you know, that's that. He was also in Green Man briefly. Uh, and I do prefer Green Man. But he was in Green Man very, very briefly. And then, of course, in this movie, he's a giant monster that's rampaging. Because unlike Red Man uh, and like Green Man, God Man can fight either human-sized or daikaiju-sized. And he does choose to fight this monster daikaiju-sized. Uh, and then Mika Ayase runs into Koichi Matasuicha whose name is also not really given. He's like a crossing guard or someone who is overseeing the demolition just because he has a glowing stick. Uh, and she's, since she's a professional photographer, she's trying to capture pictures of this town before it's like demolished to replace it with a newer town before it gets gentrified or whatever. 
Um, it's it's weird. It 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 seems like that would be part of a theme or something, but there is no real theme. But while the monster's rampaging, you hear a bunch of children call out the name Godman because that's how you summon Godman. Children, or you, you have to call for Godman's assistance, and he'll show up out of the sun or whatever. So he fights that monster, destroys it, but then a bunch of goo shoots out of the monster and lands around, and that goo turns into other monsters. So one chunk of flesh lands next to our human characters, and a monster called Shalargi, which is actually one of my favorite Godman Green Man monsters. Actually, it is my favorite Godman Green Man monster. Shalargi first appeared in Go Godman. Uh, when it was being taunted by some children. And I talked about this monster a bit in my Go Green Man review because my favorite Go Green Man episode features this monster. And the monster really looks more like its God Man uh, Showa appearance than its Green Man appearance. Because in its Green Man appearance, it was really terrifying looking. It didn't have these eyes and it was like degrading and stuff. So it's like an undead ape monster with like a silver skull face and a silver horn. And then like almost a Kong-esque Bigfoot body, like a brown Bigfoot-esque body, and then kind of a tail also. And uh, it's a really cool monster. I really, really like it. So Godman shrinks down to human size to fight that. He fights that. Our humans run away. And then there's another chunk of goo that turns into Gyra. Yes, that Gyra. The same Gyra from War of the Gargantuas. They made a new Gyra suit in 2008 for this movie, and it actually looks really good it's a really good looking gyra suit in my opinion it's the best suit in this whole special and there are how many suits are in the special because there's Godman, the three monsters i just mentioned and then two more monsters in the credits so wow that's six suits in this well make that seven because we have a surprise guest appearance coming up so Godman appears after uh presumably defeating shalargi to fight Gyra, but then Shalargi shows back up because he wasn't fully defeated. And so they tag team or or they gangbang, they double team, whatever. Godman, they attack Godman together. He loses one of his bracelets, which is the source of his power. Uh, our female lead throws it back to him. And then she finds a green call, conveniently, and uses it to summon Green Man. So Green Man has a guest appearance in the God Man movie. Green Man shows up and throws like one punch and that's it. He doesn't do really anything. God Man does almost all of the work. Green Man just kind of saves the humans once and then watches God Man defeat both the monsters with his supersonic wave attack, which was actually pretty cool. But it was like Green Man was almost there for no reason. Uh, if Green Man and God Man would have teamed up and fought the monsters together... Like, as equals, that would have been really cool. But Green Man, who I actually prefer over God Man, kind of just threw a punch and then stood there and watched God Man fight. And I didn't like that. What a waste of Green Man, huh? And then that's kind of it. That's it. <laughs> and then there are two more monsters in the credits, which are also like uh, God Man and Green Man monsters. Uh, one is called Calapage, Capilage, Capilage, and another is called Green Mask. And they just kind of fight Godman in the credits, so you have something to look at. And then Godman just kind of fights all five of the mon those monsters in the credits. And that's it. That's it. That's all. I'm going to give you some uh, info on staff and whatnot, cast and crew. So Miwa Sazaki played Mika Ayase. Rin Matsuzuawa played Koichi Matsuhita. Um, Kazuhiro Ninomiko played Godman. And the voice of Godman was Hideki Serizawa. Hiroshio Nagi was both Tsurno Jiras and Shinalarji because they never appeared really together except in the credits. So someone else had to be in the suit in the credits, but um, they don't appear together in the film itself, like in the quote-unquote plot. Kinji Oka is Gaira, uh, Kuichi Sodeno is Green Man, and Fuyuki Shinada is Green Mask. 
And then there's no credit for copal age. There's no credit for copal age. And I don't know why green mask got a credit and copal age didn't. I have no idea why. I, I just, I have no idea. But all in all, that's my review of new production, Go God Man, which is another alternate title I forgot. But um, Go Forth God Man is the one I usually, that was how I usually refer to it nowadays. Uh, is there a way to get it? Well, there's the single release uh, disc. Or you can get it in the big fancy box set that has Green Man and God Man episodes in it. But uh, it's only Region 2. So if you don't have a Region 2 DVD player, well, I guess you're just out of luck. Because that's it. It's in a three-disc box set. And that's all. It's on the third disc along with uh, making of and karaoke stuff. But yeah, thank you all uh, very much for your support. Is this movie worth watching? If you just want to watch some quick toku kaiju action, sure, don't get your hopes up for it. Because it's nothing really special. It's just kind of a quick little romp. But that's it. Uh, what should I review next? Should I review a Kamen Rider show, an Ultraman show? Or a Super Sentai show. Maybe even a Power Rangers show. I'll let you decide. Let me know in the comments section below. That's it. Thank you all once again. And I'll see you later. Peace out.